the size of the working age population is, of course, very important to realize the demographic dividend. But in our view, more importantly, the quality of that working age population is matter, does matter more. The issue related to the choice about reproductive rights and demographic transition also include the issue of teenage pregnancy, which the pop committee has already mentioned. The fertility among 15 to 19 years old is indeed considered very, very high in my view. Again, as he mentioned, unmet need for family planning among currently married women shows a steady decline from 30% in 1993 to 17% in 2017. Again, this is a very good news. The issue is, however, unmet need among sexually active unmarried women is still at 49%. <clears throat> On unemployment, which I discussed already, the recent labor force survey showed that about 44% of young people from 15 to 24 years of age are not in the labor force. By far the biggest working age unemployed population group. And seven out of the 10 unemployed are women. Because I said the potential as to whether a country can weep a demographic dividend is highly policy dependent. Here I'd like to discuss with you some policy options that this year's report recommends 